Okay, we're live. Hello again. I'm not going to wait for anybody to bother coming on. Um, I am going right into it. I don't have a lot of time tonight. It's been kind of a crazy day. But one thing I was thinking is I was doing some rewrites earlier, and I picked up this up, picked up my script, and I was like, wow, what a feeling. And I don't know, I just wanted to talk about that for a second. But before I do, I want you to subscribe to the channel and make sure you like and comment on the video. Tell me uh, what you'd like me to talk about. If you have any questions, please give me some questions. I'd be happy to answer them and hit the little bell so you know when I'm going live and when I upload a new video. So anyway, here's the actual script. This is like draft 12.4 or something. Uh, but there's nothing like having the entire draft of your screenplay in your hand that when you go from fade up to fade out and the end and you pick up your script and uh, it represents all that work and all that thought and all that energy, there's absolutely nothing like it. Even though there's so much work after that, that it is just the beginning. That is a fantastic accomplishment. So I, for those of you who have had that or who haven't had that, um, it, it's it's quite an experience. So that uh, that hit me today as I was uh, doing some work on the script. And uh, I had <laughs> I had one, maybe my favorite quote of this process so far is I said Dover, I did uh, some changes and I said Dover um, a new version and uh the producer sent me uh, sent me this. Andy, Andy, you're a gem, but you can't have three pages of this character give a monologue. <laughs> and uh, I knew that. I, I knew that. But, man, I was trying. I was trying to push it through. I had it in once before. I took it out. I had to change it. I thought I had a way to kind of, like, sneak it back in. And uh, it didn't quite work. But, uh, but I tried. And... Uh, my thought behind trying to put it back in was uh, we have now a multitude of actors, uh, the director, and everybody has an opinion, and we're all discussing this. So I was hoping to get everybody's opinion on it and then kind of pare it down where it needs to get pared down. However, I really should do my best to pare it down and give it to them uh, probably the absolute best that I know how in the scenario that's most likely that they're going to use it. I know this, but still sometimes you got to try to, you know, push it through. Um, uh, so that's it. That was kind of like my, my fun moment. Now, the second fun moment of the day actually is we cast another actor and he's a, he's a big actor. And it's for a part that I never honestly put much thought behind getting a really big actor for. And I think the reason is, not that I th saw him as a throwaway character, um, but he wasn't one of the main characters. And now this actor has come in, and I can't, uh, I can't announce him, but he's come in and... He saw it in a completely different way, and the director saw it in a completely different way. And, and I didn't even realize as a screenwriter kind of how important this character is. And I learned an incredible fact today that somehow is a coincidence um, that I learned it on the day that this happened to me, is that uh, Margaret, oh, what's her name? I want to say Margaret Dumont, but I don't think that's right. Um, sorry, I'm not prepared for this. I'm this is coming off the the off the fly. The Wicked Witch of the West, the Wicked Witch of the West from The Wizard of Oz had 12 minutes of screen time, 12 minutes out of that whole movie, and the mark that she made in those 12 minutes of screen time, I, I it kind of it blows my mind. She seems like a main character. She has permeated a pop culture since the year that movie came out. And the fact that her screen time is so small and she made such an impact. And then this happens where this character who I thought was kind of a smaller character, but is, is got a really big, important part of telling of the story or telling the story uh, in this movie. Sorry, I'm tired <laughs> again. 
Um, and what was what was great about the actors as he was talking, and and it was mostly a conversation between him and the director, and I uh, ha just happened to be part of the meeting and listen and throwing in my two cents when I can. But uh, you know, he said something really interesting. He goes, "I just want the story." He goes, "I wrote it down. I just want the story to be great." It doesn't matter if my part is great if the story's not. And that's the only thing I'm concerned with is that the overall story is great and that my part serves it. And there was just no, again, uh, no ego. There's so far I, I, I've found no ego on this set. And it's just someone who saw this as an important part uh, could bring a lot to it. And has really just by his sheer presence has made this part more important, which just also goes to show you how important casting is is um because you know when someone comes on the scene and you know them they're going to bring i think a certain weight to your character so uh i'm taking another look at at this character based on the conversations we had today and again it, it, i think i said something like this the other day about making every character every little piece super important and Think about who would who would I cast in this role and make sure that there's not a, a moment uh, wasted and to give them an entrance and give them an exit and give them something, give them an important moment and make it hit whether they're on uh, whether they're on screen for one minute or they're on screen for 12 minutes or they're on screen as the lead the whole movie. So that was kind of my day. Uh, that's where. My head is at and a, a constant learning experience how this is going to, I think, influence how I'm writing in the future and how I'm writing every single character in the future. And it's it's funny. I think sometimes we do this stuff instinctively. I, I When I write, I'm a very uh, instinctive writer. I just kind of write. And I the character seems to do the work. The character just comes out and talks on the page. And the character does this stuff, and I'm just the conduit. Uh, and sometimes I take that for granted, and I don't think enough. No, Daniel is here. Hello, I got someone. Daniel's here, and yeah, you're not late. Um, but I you, maybe a little late, because I'm just about to get off. Um, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Uh, Daniel, you have a question before I jump off? Anything anybody wants to know? Oh, by the way, this is my my mom, <laughs> my mom uh, said my room was messy. My hotel room was messy. Look, I've been here a week. I don't think this is messy. This is just how I kind of decorated it with my stuff around me. But uh, you guys could be uh, the deciders whether you think my room is messy or not. Sorry, mom. You know, uh, this is what this is what it is. Uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> I'm sure I can talk forever. I got a lot of work to do. Uh, I'm one more day in this hotel and then I head up to the hotel on set. And I think we start rehearsals and table reads and more casting and more surprises coming. So stay tuned, uh, subscribe here or like this thing. And, you know, sometimes it takes me a while to put these on because the YouTube is kind of wacky, but, you know, watch these other videos, check out my other stuff. I uh, hope to be doing this every day. So if you're interested in film, filmmaking, or this experience, uh, watch. Thank you very much.